We're going to take a quick look at the BlackBerry Messenger, starting with the setup. Then we'll take a look at the basic functionality. A word of warning, there are various versions of the BlackBerry Messenger software, so menu options may differ. For example, on some versions of the Messenger, you can press the menu key from the contact list screen and access an option called My Profile, under which you can create a custom status and assign a picture to your profile. Our version of the Messenger does not include these options. First, let's look at the setup. Press the menu key, scroll to the BlackBerry Messenger icon and select it. Type in the name you want to show as your screen name. Scroll to OK and select it. You'll find a notice that you can change the ID if you wish at a later time. Select OK. You'll then be prompted to add contacts. And when you click OK, you'll arrive at the main page where your contacts and conversations will show. While we're on the topic of your profile, Let's take a quick look at the profile options. As mentioned earlier, on some versions of the BlackBerry Messenger, there is an option in the menu called Your Profile. On our version, which might be because it's a European version, that option is missing. Instead, the only options to configure are My Status, which is just what it suggests, and Edit My Info. There is very little you can change here except your display name. But within that, if you press the menu key, you have the option to use symbols in your display name, including emoticons. Just keep scrolling down to access all the pages. So, back to the contacts page. Click the menu button and select Add a contact. A pop-up will appear and you'll be prompted to type a PIN, an email address, or a name that the device can search on in your address book. This message is basically a way for the two devices to exchange PINs. The BlackBerry Messenger uses PIN messaging as the underlying technology, so sooner or later you and your contacts will need to exchange each other's PINs. The invite message serves that purpose. If your prospective contact is in your address book, begin to type the name or email address in the Add a Contact pop-up and it will appear highlighted below. Clicking the trackball will autocomplete the process and a standard invite message to your prospective contact will pop up. You can edit this message if you choose. Click OK to send the request. Incidentally, you could send your PIN in an email to someone who was not already in your address book. From the home screen, or by pressing the menu key to reveal all the applications, open the messages folder and press the menu key. Select Compose Email and click the trackball. The message window will appear. Type in the email address of your prospective contact. For demonstration purposes, we'll use our contact, MyPal. Type in the subject heading if you'd like, then scroll down to the area where you'll type in your message. If your intention is to exchange device pins, you'll find the BlackBerry devices have a convenient shortcut to display the pin of the device in an email message. If you type in My Pin, then press the Enter key, that's the key on the lower right of the keypad, which looks like a downward arrow that swings left at the bottom, your device will automatically translate that to the device's actual pin. Add a message if you'd like. Under normal circumstances, all this would be unnecessary. If your prospective co contact is in your address book, just use the option to add a contact. The invite message exchanges pins. From the Contacts and Conversations page, click the menu key and scroll to Add Group. You'll see a pop-up in which you can name your group. When you've given your group a name, scroll down to OK and click it. Now you'll see your group in the Contacts and Conversations page. If you highlight the group you just created and then click the menu button, you can edit the group to change the name. Do so if you wish. We'll rename ours to Workmates. So you now have a lot of contacts and you need to start organizing them into groups. Highlight a contact and press the menu key. Scroll down to Move Contact. When you click the trackball, you'll see your list of groups. In our case, we just have the one, our workmates group. With the selected group highlighted, press the trackball again to complete the move, or scroll down and select Cancel if you change your mind. You'll now see your contact in your selected group. OK, you've got a new job, moved on from your previous employment, and Andrew is no longer a colleague, so you want to move him back to your regular contact list. Just repeat the process. Highlight the contact, press the menu key and scroll down to Move Contact and click the trackball. With the selected group highlighted, click the trackball again and your contact is now in the appropriate group. The next thing we'll look at is the feature to change my status. 
the default status is available, but you don't want to be disturbed because you have something very important to do for the next 90 odd minutes. Scroll to the status you'd like to be seen as and click the trackball to select it. Scroll down and select OK and click the trackball. Before you do that, post a message for others to see what you're up to. So, now scroll down to OK and click the trackball. Your new status will appear at the top of the window. In this case, because I've borrowed Amod's phone for demonstration purposes, his status appears as unavailable. During the conversation, there are a variety of interesting options available. If you click the trackball on a contact to open a conversation, you can then press the menu button and find a new list of features. Scroll up to View Calendar and click the trackball and your calendar will open. You could set an appointment and forward that to your contact by clicking the menu key and selecting Share. But take note, your calendar is shared not through Messenger but through BlackBerry Unite, the scaled down version of the BlackBerry Enterprise server. So you need to set that up on your server first. Other features available through the Messenger include Send My Location. Your GPS will identify your location and you could send that onto your contact. You can invite multiple contacts into a conversation by selecting the Invite to Conference feature. If you select Send Voice Note, a voice recorder will begin. Record a message and forward that to your contact via the Messenger. You can send a file via the Messenger. Click the trackball and navigate to the file you wish to send. Press the menu key again and an option appears to swap files via Bluetooth, provided of course that you have Bluetooth enabled and you are both within range. You'll be prompted to switch Bluetooth on if you've selected that option. Finally, we'll take a quick look at the various configuration options for the BlackBerry Messenger. Click the menu key and select Options. The more cryptic ones include Allow Forwarding of Requests. If you set this to No, contacts that you invite can only accept invitations from the original email address or PIN that you sent the invitation to. They won't be able to forward the invitation to another device and accept from there. If you prefer not to have your main message list cluttered with your messenger conversations, highlight Show Conversations in Message List, press the menu key and select No. Allow on the phone presence status does just as you might expect. Selecting Yes informs your contacts when you're on the phone. Selecting Yes for Allow Now Playing presence status lets your contacts know what you're listening to. Always remember to press the menu key and select Save to confirm your selection. So that's the basic functionality of the BlackBerry Messenger. If you're having any difficulties with this feature or any other BlackBerry related issue, call us in the UK on 0800 0488 737. If you'd prefer, you can visit our website, chumet.com, and have a live chat session. Happy chatting!